Meanwhile, somewhere in town, a young earth pony mare had just bought a house when she said while storing some secret equipment inside the basement of the place. This place is great. You sure? I know it's a bit large for one pony, so you can't always so you can always get a roommate, said the sale pony, who noticed that even with the furniture, her shady customer was bringing in and the strange gadget there was still plenty of space. It's perfect. I'll have some company come in from time to time so it'll get noisy on some nights, said the earth pony with a fake smile that the sales pony seemed to buy. Great, let's shake on it. Oh, your hoof, said the sale pony who offered out a hoof to shake. Her seem seemed satisfied customer, only to find the hoof that was presented to her in return was robotic. I'm so sorry, I didn't know. It's fine. I lost my real one in a battle when serving in the Royal Army, said the earth pony mare, who shakes the sales pony hoof to save face. Once the sa sales pony is gone, the earth pony mare goes down to the basement where she had this large thing under a tarp stored and checked to see if it didn't get any damage in the move. Good. Everything is in order. Once I have a good idea where our target is, well, soon... You get to shine in the sun and finish what we started. The earth pony mare then left the basement of her new home, locked it before looking toward Princess Twilight's palace. Her place is a good place to start as she and her friends got themselves involved in all of this, but they aren't careful they'll live to regret it. Unknown to her, a unseen presence was spying on her from the whole other world away at this very moment.